broken glass, high flames, and dozens of emergency vehicles here on Big Cynthiana Road in Vandenberg County. It's a mobile home. Uh, the homeowner arrived and said that there were no occupants, so at this time we can only believe that there were no occupants in the building. Captain Cindy Grease says no one was home, but crews weren't able to stay inside long since the roof was close to caving in. Advised that there was a possible collapse, so they everyone exited the building. Uh, that's always an, you know, a possibility with any structure fire. German Township says it called in extra help. Other units brought water tankers to park closer to the home. The flames were easily 30, 35 feet above the house. Uh, when I first saw the fire, it was, you could say, fully engulfed. And then by the time I got across the street and got a close-up picture, it, the whole thing was in flames. John Bassmeyer lives nearby. I just felt so helpless. I don't know what the deputies felt like, but here you're watching this house. It's, it's already total loss, but you're just standing there watching it. For Bassmeyer, last week's fire on West Columbia was next door to his business, and this fire was basically in his backyard. We were there next to, next to the old firehouse that I own, and then uh, I live about 200 yards west of the fire that was here. And I hope that's the extent of my fire experiences for this year. Experiences Bassmeyer sees up close, but for these men and women, it comes with the territory. In Vandenberg County, Tabney Dozier, Eyewitness News.